let's get started coloring. The first thing we're going to do are the leaves. The colors I chose are YG06, YG09, YG67, and I believe this is just green, yeah, green 07. So these are all Copics this time, and we're gonna mix them together, and we're gonna get this. And the first thing we're gonna start with is the lightest of our colors, and this is going to be our base color, and I'm just going to color in the image, short little strokes, just to color it all in. You want to work somewhat quickly because it does dry and you just want to get it all down at the same time so it's the same color. Since if you go back over it, it does get a little bit darker. I just use real short little, well I guess they're not short, they're wispy, real wispy little strokes. Okay. Next color I use is YG67. And this one is going to be shading, so I only want to put this in where I want shading to be. And then I'm going to use BG09 for really deep shading. So this is just going to be along the edges. Where it's the darkest. And where I really want it to be dark, I'm going to go over it a couple of times. The final step is to go back with your original YG06, the base color, and do some blending. And this is what is going to erase those lines that we kind of put in there from our other color. See how the lines just disappear? In case you're not familiar with triarts, let me show you the fun thing about these markers. They're also made in Japan, like I said, and they have similar ink, permanent ink, like the Copics do. But the cool thing about these markers is they have the paintbrush tip, and on the other end they have a fine point, and in the middle they have the wedge, which is why they're called triart, because they have three different tips, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to start with V6, which in Triart is my lightest of my three shades that I chose. And I always choose three, at least three shades, because I want a base color, and then a darker color to give some depth, and then a really dark color to do the shading.
you want to put your shading anytime something goes behind something else that's where you want to shade like all these petals are behind these others so they're going to be darker Next flower is B4, B3, and B1, also in the tri -arc. Our first color is going to be B4, which is our lightest shade. We're going to add a little depth. And basically where I would shade, where I'm going to shade later, is also where I'm adding my depth. I'm using the B3 now. One for the deep shading is B1. B4 to blend in. For the blending in strokes, I just use a little short. 